Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me Biffa and here we are in Antarctica. Yes, that's right. Our vanilla, no modded, snowy city and the plans we have for today are to get heating to all of our lovely people. We've neglected that so far and we keep getting rolling power issues, brownouts because they're using electricity to heat themselves rather than the heating systems that are built into the game. And I also want to try and get over to green power as well as expanding as well. So we've got lots of things to look at today. Let's come out of that view there. There we go. So this is how we are at the moment. Struggling for water. We've got 6,000, nearly 7,000 people. Our next target is 9,000. Um, but we'll worry about that when we get there. So these poor people with their water problems, we'll come back to you. We're still having trash problems. One of the things that we could do is, um, yeah, I want to empty this, but I don't want to empty it at the moment. I think just thinking about our green issues, green problems that we've got. Um, do you know what? I'm just going to leave that. <laughs> I'm going to leave that for now. Let's look at our water problem. So in the heating tab over here, uh, we have heating availability. Their consumption at the moment would be at 69, 70 megawatts. Um, our boiler station can make 120 megawatts. Our geothermal heating plant can make 80 megawatts. Uh, what's the difference there? Upkeep 800 a week, 600 a week. So that's cheaper. Cost 75,000. Uh, cost 68. So negligible difference. We've got 316,000 now, which is just fantastic. Have I got any loans uh, that I can pay back? <laughs> yes, I have. Let's pay that right back. Um, so not a huge difference. Pollution 75, pollution 75. Oh, noise pollution. So pollution zero. This one's pollution 35. So maybe these with the no pollution, a bit cheaper upkeep. So two of those would be 160, but the cost would be 1200 a week. Yeah. I mean, this is sort of the greener option, isn't it? So maybe this is the one we have to go for if we're going to just try and do stuff the green way. And that will not quite cover us. But we can afford it. We can afford it. So that is probably going to end up in here somewhere. Or well, actually, as we were going to be removing most of this anyway, I'm wondering whether we could just pop it all over here. Um, as our industry, we've got our timber industry. We've got our other industry coming in here. I think that might be a better idea if we just sort of build something on the end here so let's maybe do that instead um let's go for the industry looking roads oh we've got asymmetrical three lane roads how exciting uh, we'll use some of those i do like a good asymmetrical road uh, i'm going to come in here and this is going to sort of be behind here uh, actually, let me just change this a bit. If I come up there, I'm just sort of seeing we might end up with some sort of connection at the end there and then build off of this and then we'll fill this little spot in. Yeah, I think that's how we're going to go. Okay, so this is going to go straight out like that. Uh, I'm, I know we do need to upgrade all of our pipes uh, to this pipe. So I'm just wondering... Shall we do that first, as that is going to be a big cost? Yeah, let's do that. And now they're all going to start complaining that they haven't got heat. Now that it's become something that is possibly an option for them. I'm not sure whether our buildings over here need the heat, but um, I've done it anyway. So there we go. We can see this nice orange line covering everybody. So we've got all the heat that we need. Uh, yep, and now we need to go over to the other side. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's the whole city. That was, oh, apart from this over here, which we'll need to do. That was pretty expensive, wasn't it? So I'll tell you what, we might as well just finish off and do all of these. Um, yeah, we'll just go like that and like that. That was a lot of money, wasn't it? Yeah, what's this guy down here who's complaining? So that is, there we go. Forestry main building complaining about heat. So yes, everybody 
will complain about heat if the pipes are in, but they don't have any option to get any heat yet. So we're going to go for this because we're forcing ourselves to go green, even though we get more power out of this one. Um, let us just butt that up against the road there. Can we afford two of those? No. So we'll have one for now, and then we'll, as soon as we get the option... Uh, let's just pop that all the way to the end. As soon as we get the option to get another one... Oh my goodness, we've literally spent all of our money giving them not enough heat. And they don't need the water pipe as well. This one will do both, won't it? Yikes! Yeah, we're really struggling. We are really struggling for everything. So I'll tell you what I'm probably going to do is just leave the city to run for a few moments. Get some more moolah in. It shouldn't take too long. And then we can continue expanding. Although you are now complaining about lack of sewage treatment, which I don't want to be a problem. Um, what is that going to cost us? We do have green options. So inland water treatment plants. We've been using the inland water treatment, but we want to use the eco one, which we're just making this harder for ourselves. Oh, actually, we don't have access. So 28,000 for the Eco 1, advanced 28,000. So it might just be that we need to just go for a couple of these. And these aren't that expensive, are they? They are 5,000. No, and we can actually pop these behind here. And that really sort of fits in with that look that we've got there. So that is good. Let's hook this one up. There we go. Actually, I feel like I need a water pipe just going down the end here. And then we'll hook that onto there. What does that take us up to? Speed up the game. Yeah, that takes us up to plenty. Then the only other thing is water availability. Uh, is there somewhere else? I feel like this little spot here. Yeah, there is pollution coming out of this. These two factories and this plant here. But I reckon that little spot there... This little spot here will be okay. What other options have we got? We've got the inland... Oh, that's the water treatment plant again. Um, no. Ooh, hang on a sec. Oh, that is an eco. Oh, did I just, just misread that? Oh, that is an eco one. Oh, yeah, I just misread it. No, ignore me, ignore me. Yeah, I'm waiting for this big one here, the large water tower. But let's go for the small one. Whoa. That was an auto save, I think. Quick sip of tea. Hmm. And we're going to pop that here. Am I going to regret that? Oh, what's that? Safe city. Another achievement unlocked. I feel like I'm going to regret that. Let's give it a try. Eek, we've done it. I think we're far enough away from all the pollution to be okay. So this is the ground. Yeah, look. There's nothing there at all. Let's just speed that up. So what's that going to give us? Yeah, plenty of coverage. Everybody should be happy. 0% average drinking water pollution. Yep, that's good. Okay, so even though this one says the heating output is 80 megawatt, we're actually producing 100 megawatt, even though now we need 102. Thanks, game. But that is actually much better than I thought, which is good. So I don't know why there's a difference with that, but there we go. Now, a couple of policies that we may wish to add to our city... Um, that we mentioned before, so extra insul insulation, buildings require less energy for heating and produce less tax income because of the higher construction and maintenance costs. So I think we might just need to check exactly what that is. Uh, no electricity for heat, so that would be good. They can only use heat produced by heating services, which uh, we're almost there. We're within a couple of percent, weren't we? So that could be good. Or then we can do the opposite. So I just want to check what this extra insulation one could cost us. Yeah, do you know what? I can't find the information as to how much tax we would lose. And I don't really want to lose any money. So I'm going to say no electricity for heat. Because we're making more than we need anyway. So let's just tick that. I don't think this one here is going to change at all. Let's just speed the game up a bit. No. So we're definitely covering, which means now we have got a huge boost in electricity. So if we just drop this down. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's not go that low because we're expanding our city as well. So back to 90% for that. Um, our water, we'll leave that as it is. So that's good. So we're going to save a bit of money that way and we're going to keep everybody warm and we've got most attractive city award excellent so right let's just look into 
I want to shift out some of these items from over here. So that inland water treatment plant, we're going to replace those with the eco inland water treatment plant. I feel like we're perhaps going to need a couple of those. Uh, they're 5,000 each, so let's pop those in. Uh, hook these up. That's about as straight as they will go. There we go. Yeah, that's shot up. And then this one here we are going to delete. Hopefully that's not too much of an issue. We'll delete that pipe there as well. Don't need it. So it's treatment. Do you know what? I'm going to add one more in. Oh, yeah, these need the heat coverage as well. Yeah, don't worry. We've got your car. I'll do a test, actually, while we're doing this. I'm going to add that in there. I'm going to add a normal pipe there. Right, so let's look at the heating. So I was sort of under the impression that before I started doing the heating today that you needed a heating pipe everywhere. But as you can see, there's this area of effect that goes around it. So these have got normal water pipes coming up to them. But if I extend this pipe out here uh, without it snapping, so it covers those buildings, that area of effect that's there now, that line, is covering these. And we can see that they're happy. So actually... In the future, we don't need to convert every single pipe to a heating pipe. <laughs> Even though now we're not quite getting enough over here. Darn it. So that will be something to keep in mind. Uh, what is it we actually needed for that? It was 68,000. So we're not actually that far off of there. So I'm not going to worry too much about that in a minute. They'll just, they've not had heating up till now. We'll just, uh, we'll just deal with that. So what else could we move over here? We've got our geothermal power plant which actually, we could put that in between these two here. And then when I get this one, I can pop that on the side. So that's fine over there. I like all the pipes and things. Really looks like a cool area. Nice, nice, nice. Excellent. And then we can expand that when we need to. Um, what else? So we've got our coal power plants, which are going to be start to be replaced. So for the geothermal, we need... Oh, man, how much money did that cost to move it? Oh, my life. I completely forgot about the moving cost. Wow, 40000 to move that. I forgot on hard mode. Half the price to move something. Good gravy, good gravy. Okay. Uh, still getting some trash problems around here. It's this thing here. We keep emptying it. And then filling it again. Our trash coverage is trash. So we, this, this is the figure that we're looking at. The landfill figure. The landfills are going to go eventually. But we need to keep on top of this. Otherwise, it's just going to be an ongoing problem. So recycling centers. I think they're the only thing that is probably going to stay over in this area. So we're going to pop one more of those in. And then hopefully that will start to deal with it. Right, okay. So we have a need for... Oh, it's like killing the trees off because of the pollution from this. Look, if we zoom out, you can see it better. I did actually realise that had pollution around it. That's a little bit annoying. It's not much at all. Yeah, I think we're just going to ignore it, I'll be honest. So... We did have some more options here, and we do need more industry. So let's take a look at this. Uh, we have space, and I think I misspoke in a previous episode, so everyone's going to be railing me for that, because I do it from time to time. We currently have space for 236 workers. We need 350 um, to upgrade to the next level. This is level 2 at the moment, I think it is. Yeah. Um, but we're only getting 230 workers coming to work here anyway. But I think what happens is when you place extra items, you just get a sort of boost that just happens. And we've seen that before. And we've unlocked the small tree sapling greenhouse and also some bigger storage. But I want to go for a couple of these along this road. So I think one there. Oh, I didn't look how smooth it was before I did it. Darn it. Um, can I... Quick sip of tea. Can I do a bit of smoothie smooth after the fact? And I think I've tried this before. Let's put these up. Let's put that onto medium. Let's grab that height. Yes, you can. Aha. Uh -huh. Although that is going to sort of add a little drop down there. But if I lower that, make that a bit smaller, maybe we could sort of come to a 
a halfway sort of agreement between the two that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad, which means I probably could smooth this one out as well, which I was struggling with before. And I think it might have just been I didn't have the power up high enough on my... Yeah, there we go. Look. That get, gets rid of that big jump there was at the front. That looks much better. And then over here, these are nestled into the hillside. That's fine. I like that. Um, so what has that done for us? So if we look back over here, 286. But we see we've suddenly attracted a load more workers, uh, which is good. Um, population, employment, 16%. We need to help people to get over here. And I'm just wondering whether... Let's just check out our storage. Uh, this is the only one, isn't it? So we have that unfilled, and that gets filled up quite quickly. Let's pop another storage over here. And we're going to use... I think these are big. Oh, no, that's not too bad, actually. That's okay. So that will give us... I'm looking for the workers. Upkeep, cost, pollution, noise pollution, capacity, freight truck. What? Does that not give us any extra workers? Jobs? Like these? Oh, and we've got forestry workers barracks. Oh, I'd missed that. Workplace is 25 on that one. I don't think this one gives us any workplaces. No, but this gives us 35 and increases the work efficiency of the workers in the industry area by 5%. Right, okay. So where could we pop one of those that would be a nice spot? I'm feeling like sort of across the river over here would be quite a nice spot. Uh, I feel like we do need some more storage. Let me just do that first. Um, let's go back into this one and add... I want to have one of these like right next to that. Let's smooth the land first. What a great idea, Biffa. It's almost like you're getting used to playing in vanilla. I am. I'm learning. Um, that's almost not quite as flat as I would like it to be. But let's... Yeah, that's okay. I'm fine with that. Very good, very good. So... Yeah, why do you think if we run a little road across here, we could just have some workers' barracks on this little bit that sticks out? Why not? Why not? Let's get our industry area and just do that. It's like the, the people that run the Cypress Timber Processing, which I've not had any names for yet, but we will get to, have decided that just to purchase this little bit of land, the workers' barracks, we could fit a couple here if we pop a road down the middle, I reckon. So if we went like that, uh, cannot build on water, we could get it there, and we could get it there. So that's 15,000, it's going to be 30,000, we can't afford two, and it's not actually even connected <laughs> to over there, and we've messed up some land, darn it. Okay, that's fine, we can fix that. Um... Yeah, so if we get this height here, and we're just going to bring that out a bit. Like this. And then we're going to smooth just a bit of that in. Like that. How's that? Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Does that need to be connected to anything else to give us the benefits? Uh, where's our industry zone name gone oh it's there it's moved uh 321 workers so we're getting the benefit of the workers and we're getting the benefits of the efficiency and the <laughs> less pollution oh that's good less pollution i wonder if that will affect the factory do you know what i don't know we've got a fire how's our fire coverage we've got a fire truck right here he's on the case oh that is what we want to see and it's done. Thank you very much for being on the case. I do appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I still feel like we need like a little bridge across here. Um, so let us grab... I'm going to just take that road away. And try and just build this up a bit. I've got to keep in mind all the time about putting the land at the height I want it before I do things. Because I'm just so used to move it modding stuff to, you know... To the height I want. So we're going to go there. And then this has got a nice sort of bridge. Like that. To there. And then connect that up. Yeah, there we go. That's okay. That's nice. So they've got that connection over there. 
Um, and then they're going to need some water and heating. So I'm going to go straight for the heating pipe. For these lovely people. There we go. And electricity. I'm just going to run that. It's not going to let me. Alongside here. Into there. Is that going to connect? Is that close enough to connect? Yes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Good. So I reckon when I've got enough money uh, to pop my second one of these in. If it jumped, uh, we will have enough workers or enough spaces to do it. So let's just take another quick look. What was it? 15,000. Okay, I'm just going to run the game until we get 15,000 so I can do that. And then we can move on to the next thing. And a few minutes later, we have the money. Oh, I can actually get that right opposite there. Smooth, smooth the land, smooth the land. Okay, let's do that. I want this height. Sort of about like... I'm going to take that road out there. Sort of about like that. Let's go out to there. That's right. And can I get that right opposite? I can. I can. Nice, nice, nice. And do we need to... I don't think we need to smooth that land anymore. That has just looked very, very nice. Excellent. So what has that done for us now? 356 so we've got space and look immediately the amount of workers jumps up it's a weird thing i think each building you place just automatically comes with some workers which is handy when you're just trying to push things over i mean i could literally just chuck something down probably and jump over that but we'll let the game run and we should be able to just do that ourselves cool right what is next on the cards the heating i think it's going to be just waiting to fill the heating where is the heating one there it is because we're not quite at the level we need. I'm just thinking, actually. Yeah, the water one and the heating one comes into the same thing. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do is do that. Because I'm assuming only a small amount of them are going to use the heat, the electricity. And it's not going to suddenly... Yeah, because if we do the other way, our heating... That spare goes uh, consumption is 118 so we'll turn that off consumption 122 yeah availability goes down so it's only a little bit of a difference at the moment so that's fine right while we're waiting to make more money i just want to check our traffic still 92 percent which is great this is just all busy right this one down here we do have our asymmetric three lane road so there's a lot of people coming in and out of here. And I'm just going to pop that in there. So we're going to get a dedicated lane for that way and for that way, which is good. Um, see, these little side rows that are coming in are not that busy, so I'm not going to bother with that. I don't think down there needs it. And then there is a sort of a trick. Um that we could do with the dedicated lanes. We want to change that one. So now we've got two that way and one this way. If that one was a one, I think that'd still go both ways, wouldn't it? Yeah, we'll do that anyway to help them there. I think that'll be okay. And then what about the other side of the bridge? Not too busy, so I don't think we need to worry. All the way around here. No, we're fine. You're still with the flipping heating. Even though I've turned the policy off. See, that's annoying. I've said to them, use your... Use the electricity if you want to. And more and more of them are complaining about the heating. No, I don't get that. They shouldn't be complaining. They should just be... I wonder if it's a distance thing. Yeah, probably. Uh, you're just going to have to complain, aren't you? Well, when we get to it, we'll get to it. While we're waiting for that, let's fill some of our need for industry or offices. So we've got our zone over here, which we've set up to be a forestry zone for our industry. So I'm just going to expand that and take in some of these other roads over here as well. In fact, I'm going to cover all of that. Um, I'm going to remove this one. This was going to be a farming one. It's just not going to happen. We're not going to do farming here. I'm just going to put these two zones in the same place. So there we go. Um, and then we can add in some more industry and they will end up being uh, farming style industry. Do we want to come up there? I think sort of 
here and here are going to end up being offices at some point. But I definitely think all of these can be industry. And there should be, as there's a demand for those, we should quite quickly... There we go. Oh, another auto save. There we go. We should quite quickly get these to fill up. There we go. Fantastic. And I love the look of these buildings of all the timber stacked up. Just really, really cool. I love it. And of course now, oh, and these as well. Look, just look brilliant. Really cool detail. I mean, you know, for the vanilla, no mods, not using any extra assets and stuff like that. The game does just look fantastic, doesn't it? I mean, I am playing in 4K, <laughs> which I think really helps as well. But yeah, looking good, looking good. So, of course, that's increased our need for heat. But, yeah, it's just a a time game to uh, earn the money. But what I would like to do while we're waiting for that is just spruce up this area a little bit down here. And of course, as soon as the temperature drops, everyone starts complaining about a lack of heating. But there we go. That is the way it's going to go. I don't think I've upgraded that pipe there, which is probably why these people are complaining. There we go. We can at least keep some people happy, which is good. Oh, I've just realized we've got enough money for another geothermal heating plant thing. Excellent. Yeah, and that is going to snap straight into there next to this uh let's get this road to come out a little bit more uh, i'll leave some space there we might end up with another geothermal power plant next to it and then let's hook that in um okay so we're gonna have that one going out there and then that one can come straight down nice now our heating availability is through the roof so policies no electricity for heat we don't need that and yeah we can't actually adjust like the way we do with water and electricity our heating sort of budget but that's fine we've just got absolutely plenty now for when we want to uh, move on so excellent right i want to look at our electricity availability now so let's look at our budget so if we pop that on like a hundred percent like that so we've got consumption is 125 production is 200 so if we switch out that produces 40 and we switch it out for one of those that produces 80 so it produces double uh the cost upkeep is 700 per week this is not quite double okay so that's good so as soon as we've got 81,000, i'm going to pop another one of these in and i reckon then we can start losing some more of our coal power plants over there Oh, there we go. Two things happened at once. We got extra money and our park has reached level two, which is great. So we'll have a look at that in a second. Um, so let us add in... What were we actually going to be adding in? A geothermal plant. So let's pop that in. Ooh. Ooh. What have we got going on here? A solar updraft tower. What is that going to cost us? 112,000. Do you know what? I'm going to come back to that because I want to get this with two of these i want them evenly spaced out and i would like to build another area for the updraft tower we'll, we'll cover that another time um so i'm just going to change this around if i go there and along like that and then up here yeah there we go and then we can go down the back there along there and down there almost almost that was so close there we go and in fact that could continue down there and that just gives us a nice little extra section i'm liking that of where all of these can go excellent so what has that done for our power our power is through the roof so now we're going to start removing these this one's going to go first there we go let us speed the game along so we're producing tons so that one can go next oh getting some traffic here Yep, there we go. And I think this one could go as well. How about that? Ooh, we're getting close to the limit. We're definitely only on 100%. But that's good. So now our pollution 
will drop down a bit. So there's where one was, wasn't it? There and there. So this sort of bulk of pollution will go. We're still getting some pollution, of course, from our recycling centers and definitely from this thing over here. But that is good. That is good. So just a bit confused again because these say they should do 80 and oh it is doing 80 and that's doing 80 yep that's fine excellent so over to our park our manor garden over here we've unlocked a couple of extra things that we can add in if we wish let's just take a quick look um so we've got this here the park chessboard and we've got the park pier and the park pier well, we don't actually have any water in here so Apart from doing a bit of detailing with some other things, would the chessboard fit in? Would I have left enough room? I just left enough room. Do you know what? Let's pop that in there. I'm going to remove a couple of trees. But why not a bit of outdoor chess? There we go. Someone's already loving it. Oh, I think that looks nice, doesn't it? And then what would that take us here? So visitors, we just have to wait for. Entertainment until next level. We are so close. I think we can we can get that with some pagodas. Do we have the pagodas unlocked? Oh, we don't. We have all of these old things here. Did these make a difference? I can never remember. Um, 420 we're on. Uh, let's put down like some food stalls and stuff like that. Okay, there's a few items. And... Oh, no, we've got 448. I'm a bonehead. Yet again, Biffa reads it wrong. It did go up, didn't it? 420 is what we need to hit. We've got 448 out of 420. Yeah, so again, just a waiting time to get up to level three. Fantastic. And as this is our only park, we're going to do an advertising campaign to get more visitors. We can afford the 200 a week, no problem. It's our main park because it's the only one we've got. So we'll make it main park which gives us some bonuses. Um, we're not organized fireworks. Celebrate. Yeah, we're going to not do fire, uh, fireworks because we're right in the middle of where everybody lives. Night tours. 30 more visitors during night time. Cost 50 a week. We're going to do that. Even more fun. 10 per amusement building. We'll do that. And the recycled garbage doesn't go towards this one. So that actually should really help let's have a look in our park tab yes i thought it might affect the land value a bit but no it hasn't so there we go right so now i'd like to try and get rid of this landfill site um i've tried to empty this so many times in previous episodes but it sort of overfills these i mean when this gets up to the reserve they won't send out any trucks into the city to pick up any more and that one's almost up to the 200,000. So that one's got a bit of space. That is almost up to it as well. We've got another one, haven't we, somewhere? Uh, let's go into this tab. One, two, three. Oh, that's it. We didn't add any more over there. Over there, no. So we may hit our limit again. We do have the option for the incinerator, which if we did it would be like a really limited thing that we'd end up just deleting and losing and i'm wondering whether we could just do that oh, man, the pollution just for now don't worry everybody it is going to be turning trash into power we're going to get that as well that is going to be like a one-time thing so we can empty this out and that is going to take a few minutes and i reckon by the time that's done We'll get our money back again, so I'm not too concerned. And we've done it. It's taken a while, but the thing is now empty. And we've made a load of money while we've been waiting. We've got over half a million tea leaves, which is absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, that thing is now gone, never to return. Oh, oh quick auto save there. So, our garbage processing is still quite bad. So, I'm going to leave the incinerator. Well, I say it's quite bad. We're just about in the green. So I'm going to leave our incinerator here for now. Um, what are we going to get green-wise as time goes on? Floating garbage collector. So that's just for water pollution. And then we get the waste transfer facility and the waste processing complex. So not really green in a sense of it's not green at all. <laughs> it's just normal, normal garbage collection. We have the recycling center. 
So that's pollution 25. This is pollution 10. So actually, yeah. Uh, oh, then we've got the big one, which is a lot. We'll see how it goes. Uh, that one's pollution 100. So that really isn't helping. No. But as soon as we can, we'll remove all of them. Okay, a couple of other things I want to take care of in the city um, to do with mass transit. Before we do that, we're getting a little bit of a death wave and we've only got one cemetery over here, which is getting pretty full and all the trucks are out and we haven't unlocked yet anything else that we can use. Medical helicopter, no. So let us add another cemetery just around here somewhere. Just thinking where would be a good spot for that. I just think... Is this road going to connect down here? I think it probably is. So let's just do this. Uh, if we bring that in there to here, is that going to let us do it? Yeah, there we go. And then could we just pop that off the side there? Like that. That'll be okay. And uh, we'll just check the road junction. Yeah, we don't want that. We'll go for a stop sign. Yeah, that is coming out right on the main road. That is a really bad place to put it. And now I'm going to move it and it's going to cost me flipping 5,000. Oh, okay, it's not too bad. Yeah, we'll have that off the side there. That is a much better idea. Little tiny house. Excellent. Good. Yeah, much happier with that. Uh, so that's that one issue. And then buses. We've got no transit at all. Now, we do have the trolley bus. We do have the tram. And we do have metro as well. And we have taxis, we have probably got all sorts of stuff. Oh wow, so much stuff has been unlocked. Postal services, oh my giddy arch. Yeah, we found out we don't really need that. Although we'll probably end up adding some in. I'm just wondering whether a tram uh, through the middle here. We've got this nice big road that goes all the way through the middle. We're also going to end up with another big road over here. Although that is going to mean getting the tram around if we did it like that if we had the tram up here they would need a turnaround we could remove those houses i'm just wondering whether that would be good we could then mm, just look in so then what we could do is run the tram up here and along here and connect it up to our business area i don't see why not and it's still four lane road with tram tracks yeah, go on. Go on. Let's go for a tram. It's going to go up to there. Let's just run this, hopefully without deleting anything. A couple of houses, that's fine. Oh, we're going to lose our bridge. No! Darn it. Can I just run a tram track alongside the bridge? Oh, I didn't even think of that. So if I came out of there, we might be able to do something. Darn it. Or if I came down this road and then went across like that. Shucks. Because I like this bridge. But yeah, we're going to end up losing it. I think we're going to have to come out here. In the best way that we can. Which seems to be like there. And then if that comes over, that's not going to be happy, is it? Oh, it does there. Okay, let's just line this up. Oh, as soon as I did that, it won't let me. Okay, let's go there. I want to get this straight. Do you know what would help? Is if I did this, but had my connection on. We're going to delete these again, so don't worry about this. We're going to come out there. And that's going to come across there. And then that's going to come over here and connect to that. Could we do that? If we go down... Oh, we go up. What's the closest we can get? And then we can go into there. Okay, and then if we delete these, at least then it's running, you know, straight across, which is what we want. And then this has got to try and get in this side. Like that. I don't feel like that's what we would do. How about we just went straight into, like, down here instead? We're going to lose a business. Hmm. Let's delete that and that. So that's going to come there and then join back onto here. This needs to be upgraded to that one. And then this road down here needs to be changed back to that. It's going to mean that some businesses, some houses, I should say, need to come back again. That's fine. Uh, you're going to go there and you're going to go there. Yeah. 
And then this can be upgraded down here. And we'll sort of continue it down to the end here. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. I just want to put a turnaround here just for now. So I'm going to give them plenty of space. So that's going to come off of there, and then that's got to cross over there. Is that better the other way around? Yeah, that can go in there and then come over there. Yeah, there we go. So that's a turn around that end. And then we'll come all the way over here. And this isn't going to give us a huge amount of room, is it? How about we do something like this? If we come out with that. I mean, these houses, these are going to go, these are going to go, these are going to go. So we've got a lot of space. And then could we put a little turny roundabouty thing in here? Yeah, let's give that a go. Like that. Not quite round, but near enough. Uh, does that cross over or come straight out? No, that's fine. And just have that as a turnaround for this here. And then all we'd need to add is a tram depot. Um, which, do you know what? I might just bring that over here. Or this side. Let's go that side. It's just going to mean we're going to have to upgrade that. Wow, trams coming to the city. Everybody's suddenly happy. Let me get this little tiny bit in here. There we go. So now we have tram access to everything. And now we can create a line. So uh, this way is the one that's going to go this side. So we're going to have lots of stops near things. We know there's going to be something in there. And then every other sort of block like that, right by the school, up over there. Then that's going to come up over the top. Excellent. And this is going to stop in the middle. So, yeah, we're going to go there. And then on the way back. So this shouldn't affect the traffic at all. Uh, we will see. Hopefully I didn't miss a stop there. Oh, I'll tell you what we didn't do. was We didn't put it up towards the industry, did we? Everyone's upgrading now because they've got access to... Mass transit. Oh, they can't turn around because it's too far down there. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. Is we'll get rid of that one and just go round. That's fine. Here's a tram. Achievement unlocked. Yeah, I was going to go up here, wasn't I? I forgot about that. Was it this road here? Yeah, so let's do that. We can add that in. So that's going to go up here and along the top. Which actually means we probably don't need that turnaround. We could have gone up here and along. I tell you what, when we repurpose that industry area... Uh, we might change that. Yeah, and this is going to come all the way along here. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We can use the one-way roads. Do I want to use one-way roads on here? One-way tram roads. Yeah, do you know what? I am. I'm going to do this. Like that. And we'll go the same way that the roundabouts go, which is anti-clockwise. So that'll be this way. So it's like a mini sort of tram roundabout car thing. There we go, like that. So they can drop everybody off there. We'll, we need some walking paths and things in there, but we'll do that. And then I think what we'll do is we'll move like that stop up there. And now that's got to go all the way to the top. Excellent. So that should cover this area. See, now these are all upgrading because there's stops being added. To this area and then we'll do the same here come on it looks like they're doing the loop twice not quite sure what's going on there that is a bit weird isn't it and then we can add a stop here a stop here i think it's just when i'm making the stops is it or has something weird gone on one there one there one here and then they go back again and we've got the stops going the other way Mm. there we go sorted i've just brought up the other line there so it doesn't cross over where it comes out the road which is good i think that should be pretty good so why don't we follow one of our trams and see what this looks like going through our city
And there we go. Back to the turnaround again. There are so many people. Let's come out of this and look at our line details. So many people wanting to use the tram. Wow. Wow. 400 and... Where the heck's that? So that's the stop here in the... So this is the middle one where most of the people are. That is just nuts. We need more trams. 384. Yeah, that's the same one. <laughs> And then 115 over here. Yeah. So that's in the middle of the area where people are again. 147 further down. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need more trams. I'm going to double it to 16 and I hope I'm not causing a traffic problem. Uh, yeah, that's always just going to be busy. This little bit here. Yeah, because this is like a weird junction now. I might have it come off and go over here somewhere. I don't know. I just, I think we'll leave it like that for now. So I think that's pretty good for this episode. We've grown the city, got a ton of money, added mass transport, which everybody is absolutely loving. And we've almost gone green with pretty much everything we can so far in the game with our water uh, production and recycling and our power, which is great. So what do you reckon? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Be here tomorrow for the next episode of New Zealand, which is my modded series. And be sure to sub subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And uh, yeah, go on, leave a like if you enjoyed it as well. Why not? Have a fantastic day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.